Oh, I just finished making that one about King Kong. Oof. Put me back together. <laughs> uh, yeah, King Kong. Love him. Whatever. Just a movie, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit more about my stuffed monkey. Real quick, this is a little one. But my gram, I, you guys already know from watching the videos, that my gram used to love to doll me up and show me off. And, ugh. You know, sometimes I think about that. I'm like, oh, maybe that's why I you know, like look jeans. I don't care. Hat. I don't care. <laughs> you know, Punky Brewster. Uh, look it up, kids. Anyway, um, so one year, I don't know what how old I was. It was just me and her. But maybe she left Jimmy home. But they had a big deal they would do about the Easter parade. Okay. And this might have been around the same time that she took to me to see the talking bird. It might have, like, coincided in that same general time period. <laughs> so, Shirley Temple hair. I was like, she's getting out of phase. Like, by the 60s, it's, come on, Graham, knock it off. But, whatever. She, I was her only grandchild. My dad was the only son. So, I'm it. <laughs> I'm getting it all. It was just good in one way and not in another way. So, anyway, going to the Easter Parade front of Macy's, you know, everybody's dolled up, and, and then after that, we're going to go out to eat somewhere, we're going to go to Macy's, you know, the whole Saturday routine at, in New York City, so I'm dressed up, but I got my monkey with me, now this monkey's been dragged through some stuff, because I'm chewing on its hand, no, I didn't color on it like I used to color on my other, <laughs> I used to color on my dolls with my mom's little Avon lipsticks, little Avon miniatures, <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't do that to the monkey, I promise you. <laughs> anyway, it was ratty. I like I dragged it everywhere, okay? And we're walking in the parade, and my gram decides, Diane, that monkey's disgusting and ugly. And I'm sure there's a I've done this with my own kids. Like, okay, that's enough. It's time for you to put aside your binky or whatever it might be. <laughs> and uh <laughs> Yeah, I think there's even a, a movie, uh, Yours, Mine, and Ours, where they're trying to take the binky away from the kid. And so, anyhow, it was a blanket. And I think it's been that theme has been in several kid movies, even Mr. Mom. Oh, yes, it was a scene in Mr. Mom. So, yeah, he's trying to get the, the binky blanket away. So, it's happening like that. I mean, it's a fight. No, I'm not. And look, I told you before, I had the brat about me. I was the only child, and... Well, when I was with my grandma, I got much, most of what I always wanted, <laughs> but not at home, okay? All right, so we set the stage. We're going down the street, and these big photographers are coming around. And back then, they had the bulbs and the fancy, and they're snapping pictures, and my grandma wanted me up there. I don't know. Maybe I had like a million-dollar dress on. Who knows, right? <laughs> I got this damn monkey with me. <laughs> I'm laughing about it now, but I pissed my grandmother off so bad. And I'm sorry, Grandma. I know I'm going to have to make amends when I get to heaven, I'm sure. I don't know how it works, if she can hear me. but And I'm like picking at my hair, and I'm like, I don't want, you know, all that. They used to take and wrap it around a little um, cloth to make the ringlets, and it's like loaded with this stuff starchy hairspray crap I don't even know what it was I think it was like cement because they were like itching me and I'm you know she's trying to straighten me out put me in her mold you know so I'll get my picture in the New York Times you know that's what she wanted I guess every other parent does it you know we all have that okay but <laughs> you're not getting my damn monkey that's all there is to it and she took it away she took it she grabbed it oh hell no <laughs> I didn't say that, but in my heart, it was like, you tore my reality. <laughs> she took it away from me. And I remember saying to her, Uncle Griff gave me that. And she said, you don't have an Uncle Griff. And something happened there. Something happened, guys. Something happened. I don't know what happened, but I blew up somebody's spot. Okay, you know what I'm saying, dude? Ooh. <laughs> and it was like, you're never getting that monkey back. <laughs> you're never getting that monkey back. You know what? Guess what? Look in any of the New York Times pictures you want. I'm not in it. <laughs> I'm not in the New York Times for Easter Parade because she wouldn't give me my monkey and I'm throwing a fit. If I'm in the paper, it's because the ha caption would say, a child throws fit during parade because I got on the sidewalk and wouldn't move. I'm not walking. I'm not doing nothing. And now whatever dress I got on, 
New York City streets. I'm getting it all tar and like now it's like a war, okay? Good super brat child. <laughs> owning it, owning it. Okay, didn't stay like that forever, hello. But I wanted my monkey back. And guess who won? I got my monkey back, but Graham lost because I didn't get my picture in the paper, and she wanted me, and she was dolled up, Jack. She had the gloves on and the beautiful hat, the little pillbox thing, and hair and everything else, but don't take my monkey, damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry for the cuss word. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, that's enough on that, and that's five minutes, and that's enough on the Easter parade. <laughs>